Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch, and today we are benchmarking the Samsung Galaxy Core 2. Available for about Rs 12,000 in the market. Let's have a look at the hardware specifications. You can see from right here, it's a Galaxy Core 2 running Android 4.4.2 KitKat with a 4.5 inch WVGA display. It features a 1.2 GHz quad core spread term processor with Mali 400 MP4 GPU. You have about 700 MB of RAM available out of 768 MB right out of the box, 2 GB internal storage. You have 5 megapixel autofocus rear camera with LED flash and you also have a VGA front facing camera available here. You have a 2000 mAh lithium ion battery powering the phone which is removable and strangely you don't have the basic light sensor and proximity sensors available on the phone but you do have an accelerometer. Coming to benchmarks, we are going to run Quadrant first. We are running the full benchmark here. It's been fast forwarded. Let's submit the score, get a comparison chart going. And we got a score of 3528, which is actually a very poor score, especially for a quad core processor at this price point. Now we are going to run the Antutu benchmark. We are running the full benchmark here as well. It's been fast forwarded. Let's see what score we get. So we got a score of 11839, which is again one of the lowest scores that we have got in this segment. Now we are going to run Nina Mark 2, it's a graphics benchmark and see if the Galaxy Core 2 can redeem itself. We got a great score of 59.7 FPS which means even high end games should be playable even though we have got low scores in other benchmarks. We tried running Velamo HTML5 test several times but that failed so we are just testing the metal score here. So we got a metal score of 532 which is again sort of decent for a phone in this price range and fit somewhere in between the MediaTek offerings. Now we are running Linpack single thread test. We got a score of 29.06, it's an abysmal score really. Now we are running the multi thread test. We got a score of 100.33. Both of these scores are nothing to write home about. Multi touch test time. I have six fingers on the display, only five are detected. So it's a five point multi touch display. All benchmark scores apart from Nina Mark are really disappointing. Although the phone actually doesn't perform that bad, even in terms of general use, we didn't find much lag in the interface, especially when you consider TouchWizard is running on this phone. With 768 MB RAM, we'll definitely have to see how it performs in gaming. Although the phone does have good build quality, it feels solid and easy to hold in the hand, but the phone is still missing the basic proximity and light sensors, and the viewing angles of the display aren't that great either. We'll be back with more on the Samsung Galaxy Core 2. Till then, you can watch its unboxing from right here, as well as the benchmarks of the Motorola Moto G and the newly launched Asus Zenfone 5. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Any questions, just hit us in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a great day.